stuff. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, very cool. Either way, hello guys. Um, welcome to this uh, probably a little windy and noisy video because I'm next to some pretty uh, big streets. And uh, yeah, in this video, uh, I want to check out some car dealers uh, like here. Because a few days ago, I was on my way back uh, from Up Garage and I took the bus along this, this street. And this street is like I have to check on Google Maps, but it felt like 10 to 20 kilometers of street with only car dealers left and right. As you can see, all the car dealers here, up front there, also cars, all the way back there, everything, only cars. And while driving by the bus, I saw some uh, yeah, shops that had some cool and interesting cars there. So uh, yeah, I'm walking to one that I marked on the map right now. And yeah, I will show you what, what I can spot and what I can see. Maybe there are some cool cool cars to check out. And what could also be interesting uh, is seeing the prices on what these cars here uh, cost in reality. Look guys, that's the first car. Uh, that wasn't even the shop I wanted to check out, but I had to start the camera. Have you ever seen this? It's a Mitsubishi. A Mitsubishi. Proudia. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a V8 apparently. At least that's what it says here on the side. Big wheels, lowered. Uh, yeah, pretty cool interior. The screen. Löwenhardt uh, wheels. Yes, looks pretty cool. I mean the paint and everything is pretty rough and the brakes are pretty rusty, but apart from that, it's a pretty cool car. And also not that expensive. It's like 400, uh, 590,000 yen, which is like 4,000 uh, euros or dollars. So uh, yeah, I think that's only might only be the body price because you here you have always to calculate that uh, they offer a body price for the car itself and then there's a different price that you pay in the end, which includes like all the fees for the shop and everything. Um, and the registration and uh, yeah, something like that. So yeah, pretty cool car. Here it is guys, Phoenix car shop. Wow. And first thing, 350Z, cool front lip wheels 1 million 1.4 million yen so maybe ten thousand dollars i think um, what's that mazda no nissan nice very cool another one oh is this ultima no it's Primera, ah, Primera. Oh, with the SR SR20 manual transmission. Right, the Primera had the SR20. I forgot. Yeah. It's a Honda. Honda Accord. Manual. What's this? Honda. And then there's this, of course, the white body Lexus, crazy, uh, that's wild, purple matching wheels, crazy. Okay, I got permission to enter and film a little bit, uh, yeah, very cool. So this is 2.8 million yen, a little bit more. So 2.8 million yen might be like 15 or 20,000 euros. Let me check. 2.8 million. Yeah, 20,000 20, 20, euro. So for 20,000 you can, or at least uh, 
yeah get the body and yeah I don't know how, how um, what of fees they uh, add to the that price but um, yeah ISF very cool and there's a crown also very cool and oh this is pretty nice look at the body kit <laughs> cool only 590,000 nice oh this is cool wow I love the 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 front bumper never seen it that's pretty cool and they also like the color the gray oh it's a convertible even damn crazy crazy and then of course the Copen a little bit smashed front bumper a <laughs> uh, little bit of faded paint but still only uh, only like 790,000 so around maybe 5 5,500 euros I think very nice okay oh I think I'm gonna take a picture of this of this ISF real quick right pretty cool Supra but I think that's not for sale um, here look at this is this a type R 8,000 or 800 I was gonna foot him uh, foot, foot. 800 uh, 980,000 yen damn it's pretty aggressive aggressive oh and the turbo mix 5 damn that's cool that's very cool oh this is 2.2 .2 million so also like maybe 15,000 euros 15,000 for HKS Turbo T25 MX5 full wheels damn can get the non-turbo version with time time uh, coilovers uh, hard to, to, ah, with hardtop with hardtop and time uh, for 130 so for 10,000 I think roughly 10,000 this NB or for 15,000 the turbo NA dang that's pretty that's pretty cool that's actually pretty cool yeah some swift uh, swift sports also pretty cool six-speed manual 800,000 1 million nice that's pretty cool. I love the, I love the Miata. And there's some Civics back there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So you can buy, you can buy uh, like Japanese sports cars at the dealer here. That's pretty wild. All right. Um, I oh I can cross. Yeah, because I saw. Um, on the other side so that's that's phoenix i think phoenix yeah phoenixcustom.com that's the, the shop um but or maybe i can get a warm drink because my hands are freezing i think i'm gonna get a a tea one second yeah if i'm not mistaken these are all like cold drinks and these are warm so let's drop in the 100 yen get our drink oh and it's nice and warm some nice green tea oh that's great that's great <laughs> uh, yeah uh, yeah it's pretty cool that you can buy like uh, these um, yeah, modified cars and that the dealers like sell them like that and I think the prices aren't that like like crazy I think 15,000 for a for a turbo uh, MX-5 
uh, with the hardtop. Um, I think it's not that bad actually. Let's cross here real quick. Oh, the, the hot tea is so nice for the fingers. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, the prices are pretty pretty affordable. I mean, they're not like they 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 won't like give the cars away for free obviously. I think some people think that in Japan you can like buy cars for 100 bucks. <laughs> That's not true, but I think the prices are pretty reasonable. Um, I think uh, at least in Germany the prices are rising currently and some prices are just getting absurd. Um, especially also hardtop prices and stuff like that. I think they're um, high also in Japan. Um, for example, uh, I tagged him in my last video on Instagram, Firefly MT. He uh, told me that in Japan apparently you can get a carbon, a carbon hardtop for the MRS for the same price as a used original one. So uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, here we have a random K truck and K car dealer. Also very nice, very cute. I love the I love the K cars. Um, in general, most of the dealers that that I saw down the road here are K car dealers or van dealers um, because yeah, many people drive K cars here because you don't need a parking space, a dedicated parking space for them if you want to buy one. And also, I think all the taxes and uh, stuff is cheaper for the K cars. I think they're limited to 660 cc and to 64 ps. I think. Like, what is that in horsepower? Maybe 65 horsepower or something. Um, I think that's the limit. Um, they they are four cylinders, five, uh, six, <laughs> four cylinders and three cylinders. Um, most of them are a three cylinder, but there are also some four cylinders, which is pretty crazy. They're like, literally like turbocharged motorcycle engines. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I think it's so fun like seeing all these cars for sale and also seeing people driving those around. It's pretty nice, um, especially in Germany. I don't know. I, I thought the tuner culture or tuner yeah, culture would be pretty large but not as crazy as here <laughs> all right we, we arrived look at this garage hayashi look at this truck some civics damn i love the wheel combo on this one crazy crazy wow oh they they don't even have license plates so i don't know if that's a uh that's a car dealer or just I don't know garage or, but yeah pretty cool all the cars are super low look at the back like the wheels tucked pretty good pretty cool wagons or this a wagon this is normal civic pretty, like uh, bonnet very nice very cool. Oh, the camera on the on the one back there. <laughs> nice. All right, it's getting a little it's getting a little cold. I think I will head back this direction and try to find some more some more cool shops. I marked some on the. Oh wait, we have to check out up there. There's a random S15 sitting there. Because why not? Because why not? Oh, they have a crown right here for. Oh. For only 650,000 yen. What does it say? Okay, no kilometers or something written down, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty clean. They are actually not that expensive here. I mean, they're all automatic, but uh, still. Oh, I see something cool back there. Uh, at first, this S15 random for sale 1.5 1. million yen so maybe 10,000 euros oh it's it's a convertible look it's a convertible s15 crazy crazy 
I'm not sure if I'm allowed to enter the lot but um, yeah back back there is a 86 86 behind that the Sylvia the 86 even registered so maybe the owner's car or something that's that's very cool that's very cool all right uh, I will enjoy my warm tea, warm my hands a little bit uh, because they get, they're getting quite cold from filming and yeah, head back that way Alright guys, while crossing this random intersection I looked to the left and saw this which is pretty cool Wow That's a clean MR2 That's pretty nice I appreciate the clean MR2. Pretty cool wing too. And oh, I think those look like Skyline wheels. At least in the back. I don't know. They at least remind me of the R32, I think. Skyline wheels. Nice, it's a turbo. 16 valve twin cam turbo. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nice. Okay, uh, sadly I was not uh, allowed to uh, film uh, the last um, car dealership. It was pretty cool. I would have loved to show it to you. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of 86s. Um, and most of them were Levins. Um, but amazing and also very very many different cool, cool different cars um, but I asked and he said yeah please don't film and said all right um, but yeah I can at least tell you like what the prices were for example a all the 86s were around 2.3 million yen which is like maybe 16 grand I think uh, wait we can we can look it up uh, yeah, it's a little dark here, but maybe the light from the vending machine can help. Um, let me check. 2.3 million. Yeah, it's 16, 16 grand. So, yeah, if you want a... a